what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel so this video here got this 06 cummins in for some uh, power adders so we're going to do a before and after on the dyno so let's get her on the dyno and see what we're putting out as a baseline So we got a baseline of where we're at on power and looks like we're sitting right at 311 and 612. So now we're gonna get her in the shop and see if we can improve on that. Uh, but first, I'm gonna show you what we are putting on this truck. All right, so we got the truck pulled in. Now uh, let's see what we're working with. Got ourselves a nice enclosed S&B cold air intake. But other than that, she is stock. Now, I'll show you the parts that we're putting on it here. For our fuel supply, we got a fast 165. We're doing some power driven stage one push rods. SS diesel, 30% over nozzles. I have to get the injectors out first off to get them sent in to get them installed. Uh, PDD, 4500 RPM. Valve springs, some sweet MM3 tuning from Smarty, and this sick looking uh, PDD Aggressor 6267. Now I thought these things were black, but if you look, when the light shines on it, it has some red metal flake in there. That looks pretty sweet. So first off, I'm gonna get the injectors out so I can get them sent off and get the tips installed, and they'll flow the bodies and everything and clean them out a bit. And then while the injectors are gone, we're gonna put everything else together. So push rods, I'll show you how to do the valve springs without taking the head off and everything. Uh, and then that uh, sweet turbo. So let's get started by getting the injectors out. All right guys, so we got the injectors out, got everything up top off. There's that. So now I gotta take them to the fuel shop and get these tips installed. So basically they're gonna run cleaner and stuff through the bodies to check the bodies out and then change the tips over for me. And that's what's going in. There's the part number. All right guys, so we're back from the machine shop dropping the injectors off and just getting all the parts laid out on the bench. Got our fast fuel system here that we're throwing on. It is a 165 gallon per hour. Uh, we got the valve cover off, obviously, from getting the injectors out. Got our turbocharger, cold air intake off, and working on changing the valve springs. So I got almost all of them done. I just left one set that's easy to see, so I can show you how to do it. So I got all the rest of them done in the front cylinder here, and I just have to do this cylinder here right right now. So first things first, you want to get your uh, cylinder at top dead center. Doesn't matter what stroke, just has to be at the top. Easy way to do that is with the screwdriver right here. Put a screwdriver or something that pieces can't fall off or anything like that down in the injector bore. So the tip goes down through the tip hole. Then on the, then on the alternator, you take a 24 mil socket and a long ratchet, bar the engine over by hand until the screwdriver goes up and stops going up. That lets you know your piston's at top dead center. And here we got our Manton valve spring compressor tool for doing the valve springs on the truck. Uh, I made these holes a little bit bigger. It just makes it easier to get the keepers in and out. So once you have that at top dead center, you take this piece here, the two screws that come with the, or two bolts that come with 
the tool they go into the injector hold down bowl or, or hold down holes like so like that and then on this you can see right here says rocker arm stand and there's arrows pointing towards this hole so the rocker arm stand is right here where the two bolts where the rocker purse went on so that hole faces the valve closest to that you take one washer this sweet little bearing that goes in between the two washers put a little uh oil on that bearing put the other washer on put the nut on run it down run it down like that then make sure that all the keepers are able to get up through the holes you take a 13 mil wrench You'll feel some little pops, and that is that is the keepers releasing. So now, take a screwdriver, magnetize it, and there, you can pull your keepers out. Once you got them all out, back the bolt back off, set that aside. Take your keep, take your keepers off. Then you can pull your springs out. Now would be a good time to inspect your valve seals. Make sure there's none ripped or anything like that. And then when you're putting back together, set the springs on. Give them a little rotate. You take brake clean and clean all these off just so they're clean. Now you want to take your keepers, put your valve tool, valve installer tool back on. Make sure everything's all lined up. <clears throat> Tighten it down. Take a keeper. Make sure you have it so the little lock part, so the part that's bulging out is facing up. Set them down in. As long as you have them down past uh, the bump where they lock in, they will kind of center themselves. And that's one of the reasons I, I ovaled out these holes a little bit more. It just made it easier to, these holes here, it just made it easier to get the keepers down in. So once you have those in, or the locks, sorry. Once you have all the locks in, one's not quite there. Once you have them down, loosen her off, and there we go. Now you take this off, um, you gotta put your injectors, everything back in, and you are ready to roll. All right, folks, so we got our uh, valve springs and stuff installed. Got our injectors back. They're all in. I didn't, uh, I've got other, I did a video before about installing injectors and stuff on a Cummins, so I didn't bother filming that. Same with doing the valve adjustment on them. Again, I didn't bother filming it. Uh, we got all them installed, got the upper valve cover in. I had to get new injection lines. That is a set from BD Diesel. And we got this beautiful turbo installed down there. So to install this, you got to take that cast elbow off, undo the turbo feed and drain, obviously, uh, and then the four nuts, and then the old turbo comes out. To put the new one in, I actually took this compressor housing off because you can see 
down at the bottom there is the engine mount and the length of these studs is just long enough so the housing can possibly hit that so I didn't want to scuff up the housing or anything so I took took the housing right off along with the wastegate um, and then just reinstalled that once it was on the turbo I had to get a new clamp for here as well but I had them in stock uh, that's from BD Diesel nice spring clamp uh, with big tube nut in it not just a little nut on top but the tube nut goes all the way down and and also did a set of power driven tranny cooler lines so they are quick connects up here also got their fast installed there's a feed line for that and then they go down to the uh torque converter cooler there and then down the side of the frame or down down the side of the transmission to the tranny so here's underneath the truck for the tranny lines goes up in there and one goes to the back there's the fast lines and the wiring harness i p-clamped everything up to the body so it can't rub on anything there's the fast itself all tucked up in there where she's supposed to go so yeah what's left on this thing so I gotta put the top back to the top of the engine back together, uh, install the MM3 tuner, and obviously put this wheel well back on, and then get her back on the dyno, and hope for some good numbers out of it. We should should get a good increase out of it with those 30% over injectors plus the smarty tuning. So we'll just have to have to wait and see what we got. So right now I'm gonna get the valve cover the top cover and everything back on and yeah get her fired up i'm just draining the oil waiting for the oil to get here and uh should be firing up today hopefully the smarty tuning gets here so it, it is smarty but it's mm3 through calibrated power solutions hopefully that gets here today and i can get that flashed on do some test drives on it and then throw on the dyno So there we go guys, we got our truck on the dyno and we picked up uh, 212 horse at the wheels and 254 horse at the crank. So here's number 4, so 311 and 612, 370 at the crank and 725, here's our after, we got 524 and 1069 and 621 and 1268. So that'll do it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you found it uh, enjoyable and entertaining. And yeah, if you're looking to add over 200 horse to your truck, I, we got the parts to make it happen. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.